culture where creativity was consumed, but the consumer is not a creator. A culture which is top-down, owned, where the vocal cords of the millions have been lost. You think God is in control here? <laughs> I am in control! I've been in control since the 50s, in case you haven't noticed! <laughs> It's the fact that anybody with access to a $1,500 computer can take sounds and images from the culture around us and remix them in ways that speak to a generation more powerfully than tech ever could. Haha, <laughs> well now, we call this the act of gaming. But, there are several other very important differences between real people and pixels that you should know about. Taking the songs of the day and the old songs and remixing them to make them something different. This isn't just about an individual doing something alone in his basement. It becomes an act of social creativity. The internet makes it so cheap and easy to record and edit and distribute these kinds of social moments to 10 people or 10,000. What we're seeing is in the digital age, as the public begins to take media in its own hands and begins to assert its right to retell those stories. And it's important to emphasize that what this is not is not what we call, quote, piracy. It's talking about people taking and recreating, using other people's content, using digital technologies to say things differently. 